Well, it's officially fall, and that means just one thing. Winter and cold weather is coming up very quickly. So the question is, are you ready for it? Is your home ready for it? We want to save energy and we want to save money. So to find out how to do that, stay tuned. Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Scan FYI. That's right. It's officially fall. It's officially, well, we're getting ready for cold weather. So that can only mean one thing to Scan FYI, that I'm talking to the one and only Gary Pavarnik of New Jersey Natural Gas. Hey, Gary, how are you? Great, Andre. How are you doing this morning? Very good. Always a pleasure to see you and really talk about, let's, uh, we want to, everyone wants to save money. I never met anyone who said to me, oh, I don't care if I save money. But when our, in our home, we want to be comfortable. And the question is, is your house ready for winter? And so Gary, let's, let's give everyone some tips on getting our house ready for this cold weather. That's a good question, Andre. Getting our house ready for some cold weather. I mean, we just have to pull out the sweaters, but it takes a little bit more for the house. Absolutely. Absolutely. A couple things you'd want to do right off the bat, something that comes to mind. Um, and if you haven't done so already, we've had a couple cool days, you know, but one of the things you want to do now is test your equipment. Very <laughs> important. Make sure, don't wait till when you need it. Do it now. Make sure your equipment is working properly. Um, if you have a service contract, by all means, now's the time to take advantage of that. And basically, you know, don't get stuck when it starts snowing and it's freezing out and finding out your equipment doesn't work. Yeah, so that's not the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and really that just means turning it on and making sure uh, warm air is uh, coming out. Absolutely. I mean, another thing, you know, for those who uh, do a little maintenance on your equipment, Hey, check the filter. You know how many times Gary said that? Make That's sure right. you check the filter. You know, start up your equipment. It's working. That's a good sign for sure. If it's not working, not a good sign, but good thing you tested it early. Now you can get it repaired without having long waits. Because if you wait for it to be cold out, yeah, you'll be waiting. <laughs> So about the filter, because we're, we change our filter not only during air conditioning season, but during heating season. Is that right? That's true. Um, typically, depending on the type of filtering system you have, you could have a basic filter, you know, a half inch, 20 by 25, whatever size it is. Or you can have one of these more enhanced filters that don't require maintenance as often. So determining what type of filter you have can kind of give you an idea of hmm, how often should I check this? How often should I replace this? So read your manufacturer's suggestion replacement time. Um, do that. And that'll keep you from having unnecessary breakdowns because the filter can really cause a problem if you don't change it and it's clogged. So the thing too, is if you if you go to check your filter, and you realize you don't have any extra filters, now would be a good time to get yourself some extra filters and just keep them in the house. Absolutely. You know, the most common filters that I see when I was out doing audits, you know, are basically the pleated ones. Mm -hmm. um, again, mm -hmm. half inch common filters, 20 by 25. Um, you know, there are better or there's good, better, best, you know, you're, you're gonna you're gonna get what you pay for but you know me i like to kind of get the medium the road filter and i change it often you know it's 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 not that much ex more expensive to change them more frequently as opposed to now i've got to get my equipment repaired so filter very critical very critical again read your 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 manufacturer's suggested replacement and uh, go by that but, um, you know, it's something that that's something that you want to keep an eye on, you know, so that can so, save so you. Far, 
we we want to turn on on the furnace, make sure everything is working. We want to make sure that we have a new filter or we need to buy filters. So what else do we need to really jump on now before it gets uh, into serious cold weather? Well, one of the things you can do, um, Save Green has a program. Uh, actually, it's a statewide program. Uh, Save Green has it. And what it is, is it's a quick home energy checkup, short for QHEC. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a free service that New Jersey Natural Gas offers their customers. And what the customer can do is call that number. On uh, your screen, there's yep, the number. Speak, speak with one of our consultants, make an appointment for a certified auditor to come to your house and do a, a total assessment. Um, things that they'll be looking at, um, your HVAC equipment, your heating and cooling equipment, that's what that is, your hot water heater. Uh, do you got sufficient insulation in the attic? Um, are the drafts properly sealed? You know, there's things that they can dig into that most homeowners aren't aware of. And they can basically sit down with you and kind of go over ways. You know, here's how we think you can lower your energy bills. You know, the programs um, are very generous. Again, they have what they call um, OBRP, On Bill Repayment Program, 0% uh, financing that goes into your gas bill to help homeowners, you know, make their homes more energy efficient, lowering their bills. That's our key. We want you to use less energy. It sounds silly, but we really do. Um, you know, people will always ask me, don't you want me to use more gas so you can make more money? No, we don't want to do that. We're not that type of a company. We want you to be comfortable. That's right. important. And we want you to save money. <clears throat> saving energy equals saving money. That That's the whole point of all of this, guys. Um, you do these things to save money, not just for the heck of it. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the Q hack is a great way to start. Um, you know, there's no obligation to do anything. It's a free service. Um, uh, we go out, we educate the customer. This is what we feel you should do. Ultimately, the customer makes that decision if they want to move forward with the programs. But it's it's eh, it's a free service. Why not give it a try? It's not going to hurt. So is this a good time to be think if if you uh, are in the market for a new furnace, let's say, or a new thermostat, are there any uh, especially good rebates happening right now with New Jersey Natural Gas? As a matter of fact, Andre, the rebates as of July 1st, I believe, um, have increased. They have oh, increased. I'd like to hear that. And it's something where you can get up to $2,000 in rebates. And you can get up to $15,000, 0% loan for seven years. And basically, you know, the incentives are there. I mean, we want you to take advantage of these programs. You know, you're not going to get 0% financing for seven years from such and such a bank or whatever. We we're not going to name names. But um, the bottom line there is it goes right into your gas bill. Uh, it's going to lower your bill. So it kind of makes the payment seem like it's a little less money. But it's something that um, the on-bill repayment program, it's out there, you know, and people really can take advantage of something that's going to make their home more comfortable, more energy efficient. Once again, the, the number and the website on the screen. So you can just pick up the phone, go to the website and, you know, really just get the ball rolling. Yeah, absolutely. Um, go into the website, savegreenproject.com, like you have on your screen. Um, it'll tell you everything you need to know. If you'd rather speak with one of our consultants, basically, you can call the number that's on the screen. They could help you decide what program is best for you. Um, you might need a water heater only. You might need, you know, your HVA system replaced. You know, um, uh, your air conditioner, along with your HVA system, will finance that there, even though we're not the electric company. We bundle it together because it makes sense. Another thing that we also give rebates for, it's kind of funny. Well, it's not funny. Washers and dryers. Nobody thinks about those things. 
high efficient washer and dryers. There are rebates yeah. out there for that. Yeah. So going to that website, you can find a, a whole bunch of information. And it's really for, you know, the customer to go out there and make a wise decision. So you should be checking for, I would, it sounds like just about any major appliance, uh, even refrigerators and dishwashers, do they count as well? They have rebates as a homeowner. I'm not saying as a uh, expert here, but, you know, nowadays, the encouragement for energy star rated products, well, energy that's... efficient products, it's out there. So I know, you know, you look at a refrigerator, there probably are rebates, maybe not through the gas company, but through the electric company, which makes sense. So, you know, high efficient is really the way to go. It high is. efficient it heating, is. high efficient cooling, your hot water heater, um, again, your washer dryers. I mean, you know, if you want to you want to try to save money, you know, those are the things you want to start looking for. Yeah, not just your furnace. Anytime you're looking for an appliance, you should be getting something that's high efficiency. Again, uh, being efficient, saving energy means saving money. Nobody objects to that. So anything else that you want to share, Gary, about um, maybe some things that we can quickly do at home to prepare for the winter? Well, one of the things that you can do is basically we talked about the filters. Mm. Um, you know, again, quick home energy checkup, the QHEC. That's a good start right there. Um, things that a homeowner can do uh, to help reduce their total energy costs, you know, light bulbs you know what type of light bulbs do you have That's in your true. house right um you know caulking if you're handy you know are your windows drafty um you know you can caulk the windows or part of these programs that we have, that's that's the type of things that they do. You know, and, and homeowners don't even think about it. How could I save money? You know, and you're gonna sit there and say, oh my goodness, I feel a draft coming in from that door. Well, you know, well let's put some weather stripping on there. You know, let's do these things. Um, another program I just want to touch base on is the um, weatherization program. Okay, that information can yeah. also be found on that site. Um, what that is, is um, for qualifying individuals um, based on income, you can get up to $6,000 in energy saving measures done for your house at no cost to you. So that information is also on that website. Um, it's very generous. Um, it doesn't mean that um, you have to be, um, you know, really living poorly or whatever, or financially, you know, it, it's very generous and uh, people will qualify and again, get up to $6,000 worth of free work done. So that's something else that people can look into. All right. So there's no excuse not to be comfortable in your home. And I, and I feel like really that's the goal, right, Gary, is to be comfortable, not too hot, not too cold, just right. Absolutely. I mean, you know, comfort is the most important thing. Um, you're always going to hear people saying, it's this room is too hot. This room is too cold. <laughs> There's reasons behind that. Yeah. So yeah. having one of our certified auditors come to your house for the QHEC, hey, we can determine why that's happening and come up with an approach to resolve it. So, you know, um, it, it's something that uh, comfort, comfort, comfort. It's like real estate, location, location, location. Yeah. Well, I, I think that uh, for some people, they maybe aren't realizing that you have a lot more control over the comfort of your home than, than you realize. And there's things you can do. And again, the number, the website, it's all on the screen. Pick up the phone. That's how it starts, right? That's all you have to do. Have a conversation, save money, save energy. It all works together. Absolutely. Couldn't say it any better, Andre. <laughs> all right. Any any last thoughts you want to share with our, uh, with our viewers out there? Um, well, you know, now's the time to start working on these things. Don't wait. Don't wait, no. even though it's, no. um, you know, we've had a couple days where most people probably did turn on their furnaces. Maybe not. But first and foremost, check that equipment out. Make sure it's working. Don't wait. Don't wait until it's too late. 
Don't know? wait till the icicles are hanging off the roof. Okay. Right. Right. <laughs> right. All right. Well, Gary Provarnik from New Jersey Natural Gas. We are so appreciative to have you with us today. Again, the number, all the info, it's right on the screen. Pick up your phone and call and see how you can save money and save energy. It's always a pleasure, Andre, to talk with you when our customers to kind of give them, you know, recommendations. So now it's up to them to act on it. Yes, that's right. So if it's important to you, it's important to us. I'm Andrea Tarr, and we'll see you next time on Scan FYI. Bye, everyone. And bye, Gary. Have a great day, Andrea. Good speaking with you. Thank you. Thank you.